cars were killing four people while drag racing pleaded guilty in court today. 39-year-old Jimmy Pierce was sentenced to a minimum of six years of prison. The accident happened in July of 2015 in Johnston County. Our Nate Rogers attended today's sentencing and joins us live from the Johnston County Courthouse with more. Nate. Sean Sharon and Taylor, a very emotional day in court for all of the families involved. 39-year-old Jimmy Pierce said he knew all of the victims well. He called them good friends of his, and he apologized to their families, saying he was very sad. Um, and he, like I said, he just apologized for his actions. Prior to today's sentencing, with dozens of supporters nearby, 39-year-old Jimmy Pierce embraced his wife Sandra for several minutes. On the other side of the courtroom were grieving family members of four people killed. I did not run that night. I'm not running today. I'm here to say about responsibility. The accident happened here on Simon Road in Middlesex, July 12, 2015. Prosecutors say Pierce was drag racing with the occupant of another vehicle before losing control of his Ford Mustang. Pierce crashed into a crowd standing nearby. 42-year-old Carlton Brooks, 39-year-old Garland Arp, 23-year-old Arrington Arp, and 40-year-old Andre Tabron all died at the scene. Three others were also seriously injured. I can't begin to tell you. How losing them has impacted me and my family. In court today, loved ones of those killed shared victim impact statements. Sonia Earp lost her brother and her only son. The four people he killed paid with their life. That was their punishment. What would his be? Before Pierce was sentenced, Judge Doug Parsons called the case a tragedy to all involved. Loved ones for both sides agreed. It's terribly difficult I'm, for everyone involved. I, I know, as you could see in the courtroom, Jay feels terrible remorse and sadness. Now, police tell us the driver of the second vehicle that was drag racing immediately after the crash. Police tell us that driver left the scene. Still to this day, that driver has not been caught. Live in Johnston County, I'm Nate Rogers, CBS North Carolina.